It is the last full day hunt with the Hadza. And I've talked him into taking me and the group to a far away spot where we can look at hunting porcupine. I've yet to witness a successful porcupine hunt. I think that this would be an amazing experience. So it's uh, probably 7 a.m. Sun has just popped up over the horizon. We've got a beautiful, beautiful morning and probably a few hours of hiking and uh, very excited to see what we can find. Okay, that's the hole right there. Just found a hole of porcupine. Found these two quills on the what? ground out here, and there's probably more. So I'd say that there's definitely <laughs> a home of a porcupine right here. We're getting ready to get in there, take an inspection. Kelly has just been greatly honoured by the chief crawling into the porcupine hole and he's taken off all of his necklaces she's been blessed to wear it while he's down there that's pretty amazing yeah i feel very honored oh my gosh are you getting this <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> he has to pull him out oh okay <laughs> Okay, so plan is that the hole I just videoed previously, they found another one above it. They, they've located what they think is the porcupine den. So these holes, these two holes lead into that main den. He thinks there could be many, many porcupines in the hole. Um, so the plan is to start digging above where they think that the, the, the porcupine home is. All right, so it's digging, digging, digging. We've got a deep hole to dig to try get into the den of these porcupines. Joel is digging a huge hole with the Hadza at the top of the porcupine den. Digging for porcupines. They trust you to not fall in. Sounds like the the uh, ground is got a distinct difference in tone when hitting it with the hoe. So I don't know if we're getting real close to the uh, to this porcupine den. I feel like we could break through at any minute. Okay, so we are probably two and a half hours in and nine foot deep plus minus um and we still have not broken into the porcupine cabin it has been between myself jeremy and two of the hudza we've kind of just been tag teaming it uh it's getting to the point now i think it's so deep that if we don't hit it soon we might have to abandon this because it might be hard pulling each other out so Wow, what a monumental task. Hopefully it works out to be worthwhile. That was a great chief just got out. In this part of the world, it's common for porcupines to live underground in burrows. These burrows were originally dug out by Art Fox. Porcupines are nocturnal and mostly are vegetarian. They will sometimes gnaw on bones and eat insects. Porcupine meat is supposedly very tasty and very fatty, although tough. And this is why I really want to try and get one. After hours of digging and the hole reaching about 11 foot deep, I've managed to dig into a porcupine tunnel. I'm so impressed that the Hudson knew exactly where to dig for this. I'm not going to lie that how deep this hole got, I was starting to lose hope that we weren't going to tap into one of the tunnels. That's not the hope. No, yeah. Oh my God, he's still... After taking a look, Moncler decides that this is not the right tunnel, but we are so close to the other tunnel that he needs to tap into. It's only a matter of a few feet away. 
In a matter of minutes, we're able to dig this into the second tunnel. He's just crawling into a porcupine hole, like 10 feet below the ground. This appears to be the right tunnel, but he has noticed that there is quite a bit of sand inside that they're going to have to excavate out. They're able to get quite deep into this tunnel. No way. Oh, I missed it again. So b both of them, two Hadza, disappeared inside that hole down here. See here? Because I first cracked that open, that one open. They f figured that that one wasn't um, going to be the right way to go. So they dug in. They figured this would be the new tunnel. Um, Listen, you can hear them. You can kind of hear them talking, yeah. I cannot, it, this is unreal. This makes you feel like an inferior human being watching their fearless decisions to <laughs> risk life for, for some porcupines. So if this, someone wants to turn around, he can't turn around? I have like no, I have no clue. I have no clue whether they can turn around in there or if they have to back out. Um, I also have no clue how they're actually going to catch the porcupines because when I asked him, he said, "You'll see." Um, this really is unbelievable. It's a mo. It's one of those moments which I know I've talked about before in videos, but when you see people do this sort of thing. It, it, you can't help but think that every time you go to the supermarket, you just have to kiss the ground because it's so easy for everyone else to do the hard work. And this is what they have to go through to feed themselves here. Very, very lucky. In fact, the, this is the deepest hole that he's ever dug for porcupines. Okay. 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 And if you're claustrophobic, we're trying to communicate with the guys inside the hole, and they're they're asking for more guys to come down and help them out. There's one that's the one that we should be bringing that right There's two Hadza down there. And this is the third, third Hadza. Down on the hole. Oh my gosh. You guys, I mean, How can like... three men, three men, are in that hole? Alright. <sighs> Okay, they're the guys inside there. Oh, oh wow, that's a big cavern. <coughs> okay, they're removing sand inside there. All right, so I'm gonna keep digging and removing sand out of this pit for them. <laughs> okay, so that is the, going to be their weapon, a sharp stick to stab the porcupine. Once it's dead, then that'll be easy for them to pull it out. That's, gonna, that's my guess. Hedge your bets. You know, cooking up, cooking up some vervet monkey and having a little snack right there. No problem. Wow, unbelievable, what a day. Toka, toka, toka. There we go. They just went out and hunted a vervet monkey. So they haven't eaten since the whole day, basically. So that's going to be their food. Oh, he's coming out. He told me to hold the monkey leg. I hate it, but he didn't take it back, so it's my monkey leg now. Like quitting really does not even seem to, I don't think it enters their thought process. A matter of like, we should give up. They will go until they cannot go anymore.
the true essence of a of a hunter someone that can, someone that can just keep persisting the one who in there to shovel the dirt out <laughs> they just all come out, been down there for hours, taking a little uh, bungy break. He says they're not too far from digging through to the uh, the main tunnel where they think they're going to be sleeping. So this could take a while. Hmm. Ah. Pakam kufa, alafu, toa. Because that's, uh, he'll kill it with that stick and then he'll take it. Bili? Hii ingine tumeacha, tunaenda na moja. Ah. Iko njia hizi. Hii tukaacha, hii tukaona wanaenda sana huku. Ah. Afi ni kubwa nyumba kubwa hii. Lakini ile, ile... Ningine ni awezi ku ku kutoka. Awezi kutoka. Labda toka kwa hivi. So he saw one. He's seen two. One one's in there accessible. The other one's gone a far distance. So you dig, can dig to try get that out. So hopefully you walk away with two. So just a quick little uh, lunch break here. They've found a hive right next to where we're trying to get the porcupine out. So they've harvested a bunch of honey. Filling up that blue bag over there. No need for a uh, Subway or Burger King. It's all right here. Okay, we've moved. The hole that we dug is over there. We moved over here to the other side. There's a whole network of burrows underneath here. And he's trying to find one where it connects. And he thinks down here in the bottom of this ravine is where we need to dig a second hole in order to get to tap into the burrow to get to the two porcupines so, a little more digging and we're losing the light it's uh, quite the adventure all right we started a new hole um all that work and we have to dig another one it seems like we cannot get through a certain passageway inside there where chief is certain they have gone to and um if we can tap into that from above then we got them so uh time to dig again i certainly hope that this one is not going to be as deep losing light and uh yeah energy is running running out a little bit but everyone's pretty determined well still going and it's getting dark got a little fire going and have yet to reach the porcupine burrow still going it's uh, 10 o'clock at night and we're all determined to make this happen and Kaya thinks he's very close to getting into that um into that burrow for the uh, porcupine that we're pursuing but not yet not yet once again we're about sort of 10 feet down all right so there's a bit of a bitter mood in camp now um, about 11 feet down in the second hole uh, unfortunately they made a mistake with where to dig the hole so Looks like it's going to be a, a wrap for tonight and moon is up and we're going to hike back. We're going to hike a couple of hours in the dark back to camp and so we're going to be on our way, unfortunately without a porcupine. Well, it's come to that time. Unfortunately, I hate it when it gets to the point where I'm on my last days with the Hudza and so... Uh, this is going to come to an end. And as we say in Swahili, Asante sana kuangalia video iwangu na toto anana tena. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, please like, please send a comment, and we'll see you next time.